Okay, summer is approaching, so I'm about to teach you how to make your very own Lincoln Long Wool or any wool lock um, little flip-flop. I imagine this would work with yarn too, but the locks are so soft um, that they won't, you know, cut into you or anything. So you ready? I'm going to show you how to do it. Just a second. Okay, so first you're going to need some locks. You can use them in any color you want. I happen to have these that are purple that are going with a dress that I made. You're also going to need a really tiny crochet hook. This one is 1.65 millimeters, but any anything that really small, pointy, well, any hook that's small and pointy. All right. Then you're also going to need some material for your sole. You can buy this stuff on Amazon and on Etsy. It's just a flexible, moldable rubber sole, or you can buy any other rubber sole you want. Um, they're pretty easy to work with. So what I've done here is I poked a hole in the bottom with my little thing here, and then I pulled through my um, my locks. Now what I did first was I took some locks and I put them through some flexible tubing. So here's the thing, you can't make that flexible tubing longer than the skinniest part of your um, crochet hook or else it won't go through. So what I do is I I put you know this this hook through the tube and I pull out the um, the locks. I wonder if I have any more tubing around. No, I don't. Okay, so you just pull it through and then you'll make a hole. Now here's a hole that I made. I made a bunch of test holes. You want it to be further down, I noticed, or else then your toes are going to hang off the edge. So this is like a size 7 foot. So you want to be... Um, you know, give, your, give yourself an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half for the toes. Then you're going to poke more holes on either side here and here. So let me, I don't know if I can do it one-handed, but I am going to make another hole right here. Now you want to do it from the bottom. Now incidentally, you can make holes with just a, with a skewer, but I found out it's really hard to get the wool to go through there. So just start poking your hole like so see how it's poked through there now then you grab your wool it's hard to watch through here figure out what I'm doing okay I'm not gonna be able to do it one-handed but anyways you're just gonna pull it through and then pretty much this is stuck now I mean if I yank on this I could maybe pull it off, but it's not going to be easy. If you really wanted to secure this really well, I guess you could glue it with cement glue if you wanted to. Um, or you could put something through here, like a little tiny stick or something, uh, or a piece of plastic, whatever, to just, you know, like you do with... Um, like those brad things or whatever, you just stick that in there and it'll prevent this from pulling through. You could do that too. Might cause a little edge, but hey, they're just nice little flip floppy things. They don't need to be super fancy. These are going to an art show, so they'll only be used for one night for the models, but um, there you go. Then you'll have those, wrap them around, and it's pretty darn easy. And it's a kind of fun thing to do with your extra locks. Um, Incidentally, these locks aren't quite long enough to wrap around, so I added, I just tied some on the end here. You could probably needle felt the ends together too and have the length that you want to um, continue to wrap around. So there you go. That's how you make little wool flip-flops.